Here's the tail of the tape. Brian Garcia is the taller man, slight reach advantage. Again, he is 20 years of age, going up against Braulio Rodriguez. Wearing purple with silver, he weighed in 133 and one quarter pounds. In 22 professional bouts, his record, 19 victories, three defeats, 17 big wins coming by way of knockout. Presentando de la Romana República Dominicana, here is El Chamo, Braulio Rodriguez! And across the opponent, his fighter out of the red corner, wearing black with gold. Weighing in officially 134 and three quarter pounds and 16 professional bouts, he is perfect. 16 victories, no defeats, 13 wins coming by way of knockout. He is the fighting pride of the high desert out of Victorville, California. Undefeated King Rye, Ryan Garcia! Only. I'm giving you the rules of the New York State Athletic Commission in the dressing room. I remind you both now, respect each other. You will be obeying my commands. You're going to keep it strictly professional. Good luck to both of you. Veteran referee Ron Lipton there. He's been a referee for 27 years. He's had 147 total fights. He's been on the New York scene for quite a while. There is Braulio Rodriguez, 30 years of age, going up against 16-0 Ryan Garcia. Good-looking kid. Good looks play. You know that, Ray. <laughs> Hell, we know that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'll lump myself in with you. <laughs> He's a good-looking kid. He's got fast hands. Obviously, a lot is expected. Over 200 amateur wins. Things have slowed for him, though, of late. Let's see if he was up to the challenge against another veteran fighter. Round number one. Garcia in the black trunks, Rodriguez in the purple and white. You see, that is what Rodriguez does. Holds that left hand way out as a uh, stick, as a pole, as a distracting mechanism. What do you make of that, Ray? Well, they're just trying to see what works. This is just a feeling out process. And talking about Garcia, I mean, I met him yesterday, and a pretty cool kid, but it has been somewhat intimidating for him to be fighting here at Madison Square Garden. But then again, I loved it. I fed off that, and I'm sure he does too. He seems like the type of kid that would do that, right? Yes, he, very calm, collective. He loved it at the weigh-in. He was dancing to the music. He came out, and he, he got a lot of cheers. He has a lot of fans, many of them young and female. He's a good-looking, flashy kid. He's one of these guys with a million Instagram followers. So he's, he's popular. And up in the ring, though. You have to back it up, exactly. In his last fight against Carlos Morales, he was really tested. He had moved up to 135. He was hurt in the seventh round. He was rocked. He was clutching. I'll give him credit for that, though, Ray. When he was hurt, he had good boxing instincts to survive. Well, that's a definite sign of how good a person, a fighter, will become. You know, after he takes the shot, goes down, gets back up. Both men jabbing to the body here nicely. Rodriguez able to do it successfully before. Again, he will hold that left hand out there, and it is, uh, it's bothersome to many opponents. You, most people don't do that conventionally. Garcia goes nicely to the body. They both have great jabs, and they're using them, but what I noticed about Rodriguez, he's, he's telegraphing his punches. They're wide shots, like with his, like with his hook, or right, well, it wasn't right hand, but it was like a looping hook. Rodriguez able to score again with a jab to the body. Again, this is scheduled for 10. Garcia, 13 knockouts in his 16 fights. And I spoke to Jesse Vargas, one of the top 10 welterweights in the world before the fight. He's here for one of the Woo! announcing teams. Good hook, and Rodriguez goes down. That fast. Wow, that was, that was a perfect shot. Left hook. It's over. Lipton with the count. Did he make it? Lipton's going to make him step forward. Rodriguez, has he done enough? Yes, he has. 30 seconds left in survival mode immediately. A hard jab already. And Rodriguez is rocked. Right hand by Garcia. He's, oh, he's, he's trying to survive. Rodriguez is badly hurt, obviously. He has my props, too. He got up from there. I thought, he, I thought it was over. And he is doing everything he can do to get out of these last 10 seconds. 
He's rushing in with his hands down. That was beautiful work by Ryan Garcia. Just a lightning fast hook. Puts Rodriguez down in the first round. Good sharp jab to open things up by Ryan Garcia. Another nice jab. He is smacking that out there hard. Rodriguez comes back firing. Wants some respect. Again, but both of them have nice jabs. Solid left jabs. That is a beautiful short hook off the jab as well by Garcia. And a hard right hand. Rodriguez complains, says it was illegal on the back of his head. It looked a little wide. They fight on. What I was going to say about Jesse Vargas's scouting report, he thought against Morales, Garcia thought, hey, I'm going to throw my punches and this guy's going to fall. And against more experienced competition, sometimes it doesn't happen. And just as I was about to say that, he whacked this guy with one shot. And again, Rodriguez has a chin. I mean, he has a solid chin. He is game, firing back hard. And now he gets a warning from Ron Lipton. Rodriguez is like, man, hey, I got hit like that too. What was impressive to me, Ray Leonard, is the way Garcia came out jabbing in that first minute. Well, he has, he has height, his, his height, his reach, his speed. Take advantage of that. Raulio Rodriguez going into his bag of tricks. I mean, these guys are not just fighting, they are thinking. <laughs> well, it also showed that, that is in the bag of tricks as well, yeah. obviously. Well, was, he gets booed. Look, it, there's a fight in front of him if he wants it. And Garcia has been impressive in this first round and a half. Poised, calm, and explosive. Garcia just taking his time, waiting for that opening. And the, what's going to create that opening is that jab. He is a solid left jab. Garcia does. Rodriguez doing the punching now. Garcia content to stalk and try to get close. Good survival round here for Braulio Rodriguez, no doubt. Badly hurt late in round one. He had to collect himself. He was able to do that. You could tell he was well, nearly out. Well, again, those wide punches thrown by Rodriguez are not powerful at all. It's those little short shots by Garcia that put you down. Quick combination there by Ryan Garcia. Good work in the first minute with all the jabs. A little flash to end things up here at the end of round number two. Will join us ringside later on. Sergio Mora will be back for the main event as well. But it's a pleasure to be here with you at Madison Square Garden in the center of the universe, Midtown Manhattan. Here, Ryan Garcia has been extremely impressive in the first two rounds. Unbeaten kid put Braulio Rodriguez down in round number one. <laughs> you know what, Rodriguez? I mean, he impressing me. I mean, <laughs> the crowd don't like it. The fans don't like it. But look at him. I mean, he's, he's using what he has. Well, right. As our friends from, from England who are here in Force Ray, he's got cheek. He got cheek. <laughs> he's, he, he has it. Look, he's fighting back. He's outgunned. The fans here in New York say, hey, look, if you want to fight, there's a guy in front of you throwing punches. You can fight. Ron Lipton says get the punches up. <laughs> and that gets, gave me a wink. that gets a boo as well. Yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, look, I'm with you, right? Look, he's only he's doing what he can against a very but, talented kid 10 years younger. But Brian, you must say, look, I mean, the crowd is so loudly for this fight. I mean, just imagine what's going to happen it's gonna get when crazy. Canelo yep. Gold comes out here. We're near a sellout, expected to be a sellout by later tonight. Could be already, but we're almost there. As Canelo Alvarez makes his New York City debut, middleweight champion of the world. Rodriguez breaking it all out. Hands down, daring Garcia to punch. Look, anything that might throw the blue chip prospect off his game, I guess you've got to try, and who knows, perhaps it will be effective. I don't think so, but it might be. There's that looked low. There's a certain time you, 
you uh, make do the shuffle, Ali shuffle and stop. It's so Ron Lipton, having warned him once, will take a point away. That looked low, not egregiously low, but probably low enough. We'll get another look. Which should tell him, Rodriguez, he should get focus. He can't oh, win. Quick, lightning fast hook from Garcia. Rodriguez never able to even turn around. He turned him into a southpaw. Getting wild and woolly. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, the fans get upset about this sometimes if you're not, if it's not effective. Too much playing. Well, I normally agree with that. I, I hear what you said earlier, though, Ray. Like, if he just boxes conventionally against Ryan Garcia, he's not going to win. <laughs> he's got to try something. Garcia just looks excellent. I mean, the, the right hand to the body, a wicked hook. That looked low well, again. Yeah. I don't know if Ron Lipton saw that. That was quick. But, I mean, Rodriguez is obviously in survival mode. He's just winging shots. Watch out for Garcia's left hook. It's short, it's precise, and it's powerful. That's what put him down the first time. Trying to get by that extended left hand, and he does. Right hand and a hook by Garcia. Rodriguez says he's not hurt. Yeah, but his head is getting whacked. I've never seen a fighter so confident like Rodriguez. While losing. Or crazy. <laughs> While losing and losing badly. Yes. Another stern warning there from referee Ron Lipton. And so he had the option of taking another point away, but he did not. Well, there's going to be a backlash again against any time the pretty boy, whoever that is. You were once that guy. You obviously could back it up. But there's going to be some backlash against that. And as Garcia was tested in his last two fights, many wondered if the bloom was off the rose. I think what we've seen here so far in New York is, no, he is still an electrifying young fighter. Round number four, Braulio Rodriguez in the purple and white trunks, still clowning, still messing about, and uh, still very much in this fight. Well, alive and in the ring. Not really there point-wise even already. Gets down low. See the power punch is about well, 30 to 3. Sometimes the punch stats can accurately tell the story. I think in this case, they do. Garcia well, is walking him down. He's going, yeah, this is what I expected. Rodriguez trying to weather the storm. He is smiling through the onslaught. You get the feeling he'll be smiling on his back. What would you tell Garcia, Ray, with a guy doing all this in front of him to, in order to keep his composure? Well, just, yeah, just be calm, collected. You have to be. And continue to throw that left hook. That is the bread and butter. I mean, I can imagine the test here for Garcia is, again, not to get angry, not to get upset, and just box and just fire. Because, again, you can see, you know, Rodriguez not only knows how to box, he knows how to fight. He's ready to do what he has to do to survive. But Garcia's doing the right thing. I mean, he's using that jab, getting closer. Yeah, that's a wild Kick look. His that, hands up. that just missed by Rodriguez. He is letting it fly. Garcia did a good job of getting his head right out of the way. Fires back with a hard right hand. Trying again. He'd love to take him out. You can tell. Garcia would love to end this nonsense. Well, Rodriguez wants him to get him upset. Yeah. Look at it. I don't blame him for that. I call it nonsense. I do not blame Rodriguez for doing what he has to do to yes. survive. Hey, he's the only one in there. He, and it's only him. I love those shots for the body. Good hard hook again. Rodriguez ate that as he came and hit him right on the temple. Uppercut, he needs uppercut. And Garcia has, he has all those twos. He has those weapons. Exciting fight so far. Final seconds of round number four. We've got four fights here in the final phase of our card here, DAZN, New York City. Wide with the hook, we fought four. Now for Ryan Garcia, we asked him about making his debut in New York City. He said, it's a huge deal in your career. Ray, you fought Terry Norris here, so that was your one experience in the ring here at the Garden. 
I don't remember that. You don't, right. <laughs> you don't, have, don't worry about that. You came back late. That was, yes. uh, that was Sugar Ray Leonard phase no. five of no, your Terry professional Norris, career. A, a bad boy. He, yeah, took, oh. yeah, he did. And you were late in your career. You came back. It was a few years after. No you, complaints. You no beat complaints. Marvelous Marvin Hagler, even in 1987. So by the mid 90s, yeah, that was your time here. Ron Lipton says, get him up again. This is the fifth round. I, Ray, yeah. I will say, I, I love what I see with Garcia so far. So do I. So do I. Uh, Rodriguez is bringing it. He's been warned. He's had a point taken away. He's been drilled, knocked down. This, he brings it. This is so much uh, experience for Garcia. He's he's because he can fight anybody at any time. Good. Hard right hand. Wow. How did he weather that? Another one. And a hook. And down he goes. This is over. That, Rod gone. Lipton got to 10. You're supposed to count, and he did. That was sensational great, for Ryan Garcia. A great performance, Garcia. And this was electrifying the way he closed the show. This kid, Ooh. beautiful right hand. Garcia is the perfect student because, I mean, that's the way you handle an opponent who's playing and trying to make you look bad. He Ray, took his time. Oh. Ray, that was right in front of us. I felt the thudding power, the force of that right hand. And the expression on his face, which I love. Ooh. He was so dedicated, convicted. Rodriguez absolutely tried to get up before the count of 10. Ron Lipton, rightly so, counted to 10. Count them all. Count them out. That's what you're here to do. And that's what he did. He was struggling to get up at 10. There was absolutely no way that fight should have continued. And it's over. And Garcia now 17-0 with 14 knockouts. And that was just fun to watch. And a good boxing performance, right? A great boxing performance. I, I see it. And, and at a young age, he's 20. He has so much le to learn. Take a look at the copy box stats. 87 to 13 landed. Uh, percentage landed. It was all Ryan Garcia. Raulio Rodriguez did what he could to try to make it a fight. But Garcia, with, with a, a disciplined, yet creative, yet forceful performance. I can't wait to see this kid in a year or so oh, from now. No question. So, I can't wait to see him, hopefully, next month. Next you month. Know what I'm saying? And the way guys have been fighting. Look, we got Canelo in here, world champion, after just three months. These younger guys can get back in there. I'd like to see Garcia in here again and again. This will be sensational. Power punches. Yikes. <laughs> Normally, Garcia, very selective. Ryan coming right over. Good job. I'll give it to you. Congratulations. Ryan wanted to say hello to Ray Leonard. <laughs> Go to well, ladies and gentlemen, the end comes officially. One minute, 14 seconds. Round number five. Referee Ron Lipton reaches the count of 10. For your winner by KO, se mantiene el rey invicto and still King Ryan, Ryan Garcia! Sensational New York City debut for Ryan Garcia. Did he think I was leaving him hanging?